is almost noon and I'm gonna meet my sister for a sushi buffet. It's that time of the year again, so we're gonna decorate some gingerbread men. Reaction video. I honestly don't even understand why it's a thing anymore. So when I did the low carb diet, I used to make this salad a lot. Now I'm gonna get to wrapping. Hey guys, happy Vlogmas Day 23. It is almost noon and I'm gonna meet my sister for a sushi buffet that I've been wanting to try for so long. She's always been telling me about it and today is finally the day. I also used the um, Dare to Create palette on my eyes today. They don't look that bad. It honestly wasn't that bad when I actually did it on my eyes. I know I swatched it on my hands the other day and I thought it was kind of weird, but on my eyes it looked pretty good and it blended out really well. Also, my day designer came in the mail. If you guys watched my What I Want for Christmas, this was in it. And this is the design I got. It's like the snakeskin kind of design. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of unique. I'm honestly surprised they don't have that many like new designs. I've had two day designers before, so that's like two years ago. And they pretty much have like all the same designs. And they honestly don't have that many to choose from. Like I wanted like a light pink, like a light millennial pink or like a nude color that's really trendy. But like they didn't even have any of that. So that was kind of surprising and sad. Because you know when you wear boots and like... You're wearing like ankle socks and then they just fall even though you like pull them all the way up. So I'm gonna change my socks to some Christmassy ones. Let's see which ones I'm going to try. Okay, so I have these cute little red ones with these like polka dot things. And by the way, all these are from American Eagle. I bought them during Black Friday and I haven't even worn anything. This one says, um, I've been naughty, but I can be nice. Those are cute. And then these ones say, bring me hot chocolate. If you can, if you can read this, bring me hot chocolate. I think I'm going to wear the red ones for today and maybe save the ones that say stuff like for, um, Christmas Eve and Christmas day. These socks are like so soft. What the heck? Maybe I should start buying like nicer socks. I have made it. I should it looks really good. Hi. Thanks. It's that time of the year again, folks. Mm -hmm. It's coming off. See, there used to be things here. Now there's not. Mm -hmm. house and guess it's still up my 21st stuff and like the champagne bottle the 21 it's balloons really yeah she like apparently likes to keep it so okay I don't want to change the words. oh yeah she said change the words to holidays but Christmas is in like two days and I was just like it's not worth it <laughs> but she has all this gingerbread making stuff or like decorating stuff so we're gonna decorate some gingerbread men and women. <laughs> so if you guys are in Greek life or anything, you probably know of College Weekly and you probably know of that reality show that they like have going on. It's called like Neighbors and Friends. And it's like this group of friends at FSU and basically just like a reality TV show about them and like partying and stuff like that. So I told my sister about it and I was just asking just about like FSU party life. So we decided we're gonna watch it <laughs> together. I've already seen like all the three episodes that's out. It's definitely not horrible. It's, you know, good entertainment, so. Craziest college town in America. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> this is Tala Nasty. Oh, Tala Nasty. Reaction video. How do you feel already? Literally. <laughs> The Olas, they literally just copied Pike. They literally just made their own version of Obli. What the hell is Obli? Obli was like Pike's thing and they were like, oh, if you have an Obli t-shirt, you're so cool. So they just literally made this. Damn. They couldn't, they couldn't change the first letter and make it a little different. He's the mean one. 
She's the head bitch in the group. Head the bitch. She's your classic sorority girl sweetheart with a little saucy. This is Olo Nichus. What? And that's Olo. I call that What's your name? Your name? It's Olo. Nice to meet you. Ginger. Okay. Olo Ginger. And Olo Nichus. And Mama's here now. This is Olo Ginger. She loves wearing these t-shirts that show her boobies. Her hair is green, so she thinks she's different and more unique than you. And she'll literally judge you for anything that you say. And her smile so is fake. This is Olo Michus. She gets her hair blown out every day at 10 a.m. Yeah, her ethnicity is gingerbread and judges anyone who only eats the icing off the cupcake. She is known to have resting smirk face and always sleeps with her eyes open. Better watch out. Come back and be my foot warmer, please! Okay. What video are you watching? We're watching a Christmas inheritance or something like that. So basically, Netflix decided that they're in the new hallmark of Christmas movies and they're so making them as Christmas. tacky as ever. Have you seen Christmas Prince yet? You work here too? Yes. I am the manager. Collins. She hasn't seen it. All are terrible, but all must be watched, obviously. You've met Steve Yeah. Our boss. Hi. <laughs> hey guys, so it is 5.30. I actually ended up falling asleep on my sister's couch during that Christmas movie. So now I'm on my way home, and I'm thankful that I got up and went when I did, because I feel like if I went any later, the sun would have gone down, and like, I literally hate driving in the night especially after waking up from a nap like it probably would have felt like a lot more tired at least i'm able to see a little bit of sun but my god i am so excited for this whole like short days thing to not be a thing anymore like i know it's not gonna happen until like three months from now but like i'm very excited for it because it just makes me so unproductive i honestly don't even understand why it's a thing anymore i definitely think more people are like stressed out from it than like actually benefiting from it if that makes sense so i don't know i just don't like it and i need my son until like 8 p.m at least because then i can actually get shit done and like feel like it's not five o'clock and it's time to go to bed you know what i mean hey guys so i took off my makeup it's currently like 8 p.m and i'm gonna make myself a quick dinner and might as well show it to you guys so when i did the low carb diet i used to make this salad a lot. I basically put a bed of arugula, then added some avocados, and then did some lime and olive oil, and then I squeezed some balsamic vinaigrette on top. I think it's vinaigrette, I don't know. I'll show it to you guys. But this looks like a very good avocado. I know you guys can't see because the lighting freaking sucks. The moment of truth. Okay, I cut that really bad. Like, look how much thicker this is, but okay. We are good to go, guys. Next ingredient is some olive oil. It does kind of taste a little bit weird when you add too much, so just be careful. You can always mix it up and spread the oil around, so I'll stop there. I know this is probably bad for my health, but I'm a total salt gal, so we're gonna add some salt to it too. This is the balsamic glaze I was talking about. So it says balsamic glaze with balsamic vinegar of Modena. And this is what it looks like. It's just like kind of like a sweet sauce. Next, we're just going to add a half of a lime. And first, I always roll it because it kind of just helps to squeeze the juices out of it. <gasps> it literally squeezed on me and not the salad. What the heck? And that is it of my salad. It's really yummy and super filling and also fast to make. So I was about to start wrapping presents and I realized I couldn't find tape anywhere in my house. So I'm at the dollar store picking up some last minute like wrapping stuff, just tape and like the like confetti stuff to like just fluff up a basket. As you guys saw, I did go to the dollar store. I also went to TJ Maxx to pick up a couple things and now I'm going to get to wrapping. I have actually a lot to wrap. I didn't think I would, but I don't really know what to do with all of Ryan's presents because they're basically all clothes. So I did buy 
I did buy boxes. Four shirt boxes, and they're pretty big, so maybe I can fit like more than one thing in there. Then I also have like some other little boxes, but we'll see what I can do. This is the current mess. Hi, Neech. Wanna help? Okay. No? All right. This year, I thought it would be a cute idea to like make Ryan's family like a really cute basket. So I got this basket, which is totally reusable and super duper cute. I picked like a color that I thought would go well with like their house. So, I mean, they could like put blankets in here after or just like any miscellaneous things. Um, but basically, I'm gonna stuff it with fluff. Where'd they go? And then I got this, it says home sweet home and I'm gonna put it that in the basket as well as some other little goodies. So I think it's gonna turn out cute. Next, I'm gonna wrap my sister's gifts. Look how cute this one is. I love it. Oh, the bow turned out so cute. All right, guys, I'm all done with the gifts. I did some in wrapping paper and some in just like those boxes, and then I put bows on top, and then I did some in bags and a basket. It's about time to go to bed, so I'm gonna get snuggled up and watch some YouTube videos, maybe edit a video, we'll see. But Merry Christmas Eve, Eve, and I will see you guys in my next vlog. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.